Okay, well, we are done with the registration, but there's one more thing that, as I said earlier, and we want to deepen our understanding, which has to do with block and Dart programming, so this copy with method. And as I was talking that early, copy with method actually uses the earlier elements and then uh, creates a new one based on the old and new data provided. And here, there is no directly way to prove that, so we'll take it one step further, and we'll directly use some Dart code uh, to prove that, that yes, it works uh, and it is uh, uh, immutable. Because a copy with method, this one, also works with immutable objects or classes. Because we make our classes immutable, so we can't, dis we can't really uh, change them so only we can do we can borrow some properties from it and then we can create a new one so now we do it in a dart pad so let's open up our browser okay so you can type in dart pad dot dev and then you'll see this is dart pad and this is a very convenient tool for learning dart of course if you learn dart very well that means your flutter should be good as well because flutter framework is based on dart programming language and dart is one of the trendiest language right now so you should learn that anyway uh, I mean you have to learn it because you are learning flutter anyway so first we will create a function over here which is uh, void uh, main and we know that this is the entry point of any dart code all right now inside this over here we would be calling our uh, objects classes whatever we do so just make sure that we are working and it it works we can type in here hello world all right and then let's hit it and we'll say it says hello world okay all right it's a bit slow but it works over here first we want to create a class and we'll name it model you can name it anything and just any any name is fine over here and then inside this over here we'll have two fields one is string name another is int age uh, while we could also do string address like this okay I want to create a constructor and over here we do model and then here we do this dot name this dot age and this dot address all right okay let's see now the first thing we want to do we want to create the immutable so to create immutable first here we have to use a final for the variables and final and final all right and over here for the constructor itself we have to create const otherwise it would not be immutable once again making your class immutable is a good programming practice and this is what you want to do all right now of course over here a few of the things we will see that okay so i can create a new variable over here and i'll call it model one and then over here i could also do model and then i'm going to type in like this we are creating an object by calling this constructor over here so here we could just say the best tag all oh, that's four and then that's um well here address say china because currently i'm in china all right so these are the properties that i provided over here and it looks like okay we are missing this one over here okay and the arrow should be gone and over here we could just simply go ahead and print model one dot name all right and then okay let's go ahead and print it we'll see that here it says that uh okay we do have a bit of issues now this is age is int so it just should be four all right or i could just do two because this is my channel two years old right now uh anyway so now we'll see that yeah the name is printed now of course if we could do print model one dot address then we would also be able to put the address over here all right so so far so good and it's a very classic way of creating object and print them right now imagine i want to create another object based on this one well the other way to go ahead and do that copy the whole situation and then put it here and then you could do it model 2 and then age is same now for example you just wanna change the name to this one 
and then definitely what will, what are you gonna do over here you can also print them now you can print anything you like and over here too so model 2 right okay now let's go ahead and print them but of course this time we'll see that domestic China and Dastagate China all right now of course over here this part was kind of easy because we just have three fields over here we just directly copied that and uh, used it but here you see that over here this China thing actually it's uh, we didn't need to put it here because we are reusing right we didn't change it so this is where copy with method comes in okay so we'll see that how we do this using copy with so if you have say for example many many fields over here many many variables and you might have now if you want to create new objects so you have to do the whole process like this copy it and change one by one and check carefully that which one you need to check which one you need to change like that that's time consuming okay so we don't want to do it like this we want to do it a bit different way now we're here we want to do with copy with method now here as I said that in general copy with method should return the class type what is the class type was model or the object is model type so here first we'll return model and we'll call it copy with but by the way you can call it anything the method name it doesn't really matter and copy with always takes optional named parameters so we have three parameters remember when you put curly braces that becomes optional okay all right now there there is another one like this uh, with this it becomes positional parameters but with this optional named parameter all right so we are using this one and here now this is optional so that's why you have to use a question mark and then over here we're gonna let me expand this so that we have more space and then here you do int age and then string address all right and over here we do have this let me hide this issues okay great yes we still have an error over here because it wants you to return an object so now here we could just simply return model okay right like this now what do you want to return well of course before you return we already learned that you you need to check if name exists or not how do you check it use this double uh, double question mark if this name exists then use that one then if it doesn't exist use the earlier one okay like that and then the same here is age this dot age and then address this dot address all right so the purpose is that we may pass all of them or we may pass just one or we may not pass any of them okay so that's the point so that's why I have this question mark and with double question mark it means whatever is there if it exists go ahead and use that all right now of course it also looks like a lot of work but this is a safer way as well as if you have a lot of fills only one method could save you tons of times all right so over here we are not going to use like this so over here we are going to use copy with method now remember copy with method actually takes the older object first if it exists it takes that one and copy the properties from this so here I'm gonna create a new method and I'll go so new variable and I'm gonna call it model 2 and then here because model 1 has copy with method because model 1 is the object or instance of this class and it can access everything so we can access this method over here so we call copy with copy with now this time just like earlier time we just want to change the name and so over here here we do name and here we'd say dust to gear just like this okay and that's it so you see you don't have to write all of them of course we have seen that early now here we could do the print method okay all right so here we do model 2 and uh, two here but of course if you want you could also do that print over here model one dot age you can also print age 
and I'm going to copy this and put it here and then two all right okay now let's go ahead and run it you see all right it's showing up and uh, looks like it didn't show up I'm not sure why so let's go ahead and run it one more time okay now it showed up first time maybe the network was not very responsive anyway so now over here this models uh, the values over here object value these are all pretty hard-coded and we can see over here but interestingly we see the second one over here we just change the name and everything else stays the same to China like that okay so what does it mean it means that it found object one and then it copied every information except for this one because this one you have given a new value and at the same time it kept the older values as well so of course if you want you can also print them later to just prove that the earlier object one has not been destroyed it's still in the memory okay yeah of course you see this time this one printed first model two where this 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 and uh, this is model one model one contains the original the first information that we had okay all right so hopefully you should be happy how this works after knowing this because it is very useful this copy with method and it makes a lot of sense all right